This is Ago Palace Way in Okota, Lagos. It is a road that connects people to Amor Dofi, Osho the Apapa Expressway. First stack, satellite town. Mel looking at this road, you'd find out that this road has over 1,000 businesses. And what do you think is going to happen when this road becomes a total wreck? When it goes beyond this state that it is now, what do you think is going to happen? Everybody will find the alternate routes to their destination. Now, those alternate routes would become so busy that they will go bad as well. And the question is, if the government is not coming to our aid, why don't we find a solution? We're not going to be constructing roads. We'll just walk on the drainage. And then this whole nightmare will become something that just flashed. People, this is Agar Palace Way on a sunny Tuesday. The flood is something else. People's businesses. They can't do anything about the situation. The outcry to the government has been huge, but nothing has been done so far. My question is, Agar people, will you allow this to continue? Won't you find a solution on your own? Don't you make your own effort to save your community? Agatha last way is not in a village, it's a place in the city. It's a road connecting people from Ejibo to Amor the first stack area. It's a place connecting people from Shelly to first stack, uh, second Rainbow, Oshoni, Abafa Expressway. This is an electric cable. This can bring death to any human being on the east side. It is left this way and people still march on it. They go on it. Why are we allowing this thing? Why are we allowing this to continue when we know we can help ourselves? Can't we find a solution by ourselves, people? Can't we come together and find a way to stop this problem before it becomes a big monster.